This always gets weird, so let's do it again. The alien bruise. Here we go. Delirium theater. What? Is that a chicken? Yep, that's a giant chicken. Well, howdy there, partners. Dre here, and welcome back to our Hillbilly Pawn Shop in Barn Finders. Now, the game has been fully released now, so I'm so excited to get back out into it. And yeah, hopefully we can make some profits selling some weird-ass crap. So yeah, if you missed the original episodes for this game, I checked out the demo, and the way this game is played is basically you go looking for things to sell in barns, you also go to storage auctions and bid on storage containers, and yeah, basically you're running a pawn shop, but a very interesting pawn shop at that. So we're gonna start a new game here and check it out now that it is fully released. What the hell? Duke Tucker, who are all these people? I remember Sebastian. Okay, clearly there's gonna be quite a few people. The alien guy? I mean, that guy is clearly a friggin' alien. <laughs> so is this gonna play like a reality TV show, just like uh, Maneater? Cause I'm feeling that already. Ah, uh, look at those happy hillbillies. All right, barn finders, here we go. Let's start picking, waste no time. Ah, uh, okay, so right back to where we started in the demo, I think. So I'm going to cut out a lot of this because we've already showed this in the demo of the um, game. So if you want to check out the early version or the early parts of this game, um, check out the other episodes. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, I'll keep some of the interesting stuff in, but yeah. I mean, I've already played through a lot of this, so we'll get kind of to where the game ended off and go from there. Okay, and I think we're pretty much back to where I was. I did the first barn and the first storage auction, uh, if you are curious. And this is the one where we find the Jeep, if you remember. So yeah, if you missed those episodes, uh, they're actually really cool at the start of the game. So go back, check those out. But um, yeah, I haven't done any of the upgrades or anything like that. I just did the first two main quest lines. I'm missing possibly one item here. As you can see on the far right, it says items left, and I have a little bit of that bar. Um, that or it could be this item over here. So I need to buy the axe, I believe it was, to get through here. There's an item here. It's the golden toilet paper. I don't know if that's considered an item, though. So we'll see. I'm gonna head back to our uh, pawn shop. I haven't sold anything yet. I haven't repaired anything yet. All I did was merely do the first two missions, and, um, yeah, I think that's where the demo left off. So we're gonna upgrade our pawn shop now, sell some of this stuff. We actually did quite good today, as you can see. Um, when you get a dancing frog, you, you know it's a damn good day. But yeah, now I want to actually upgrade the pawn shop, and I'm excited to go see the next, um, barn, because I think it was a barn after this one. And how did we do? Collectibles, golden paper. So yeah, the one thing- oh, I did miss an item. You bastard. That's gonna bother me forever. Um, the benefit being we can come back here, it just costs a little bit of gas. Uh, so yeah, let's get back to the pawn shop, clean it up a bit, start selling some of this stuff, so I can earn some more money to, uh, spend some more money. Okay, so let's get Uncle to bring everything over here and see what we're working with here. So I think we gotta go over here. So I have a lot of items right now. Um, like, like, like blow-up dolls. That's always fun, right? I think I also have everything for the bike already, so I do want to repair that bike, but I gotta buy everything if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, that's the cleaning station. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I probably should have checked that earlier. So there's, um, collectible items now, and that's kind of how you upgrade your shop. I'm not too worried about the look of it right now. We'll definitely upgrade it later. Later, I want to upgrade myself first. So I only have 155 bucks. I was gonna buy the axe, but that's 300 bucks. So we're gonna have to sell some stuff first. Um, so I'm just gonna go to bed, and uh, in the morning time, we can sell all this crap, like pretty much everything. That should give us a little bit of money, clean up this place, and hopefully we can get our first customers tomorrow. Uh, but I gotta say, they did a lot of cool stuff with, like, the animations in this game. Like, check out the sleeping animation. Uh, they clearly spent a lot of time in this game, and I am so excited to see how in-depth it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna sell everything. I mean, I don't need food. Oh, cool, and this is where the golden toilet papers go. So yeah, I got the one at the red barn, was at the which was on the top of the barn. I think there's one here, too. I don't remember where it is, but I should be able to hear it. Oh. Well, there it is. How the hell... How the hell am I gonna get up there? I'm gonna have to stack some stuff. Um, Alright, we'll worry about that later. I at least know where it is. It's just a collectible anyways. Uh, let's get the bike first. So we have the assembly station. Oh god, that's gonna cost me 700 too. Alright, I'm clearly gonna have to sell some stuff. So I guess we'll have to um, purchase some shelving units and whatnot. 
So yeah, we have big wall items, medium wall items, and medium sized items, and I think that's all the... Actually, is this... This is already bought too, so we can store quite a bit. So I'm gonna get anything that we don't need to fix or clean, and we'll start selling some of this stuff. Alright, and it's all about haggling in this game, so hopefully we can haggle as good as I did in the demo, and uh, I guess now we just wait. Oh yeah, there's a guy... Oh, hold on. Um, okay, what... How much do you want? 25? Store price is 25. I think we should go a little higher. Oh god, she does not like me. Oh, oh. Okay, you know what? So you 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 offered the the store price, so I'll sell it. And it, honestly, it's just a crappy wagon anyways, and I think I have an area open now cuz I had one more item here in here. Yeah, the rocking chair that I can sell as well. So, that opened up that space. Let's put another thing down. Uh, but yeah, I had a guy who wanted a motor in here, uh, which is the job that we had to do. So, 430, we're going to pack and send that. And, uh, yeah, we're already earning money today. Feels good, man. All right, I just want to make sure... It says, um, people can steal things. Oh, I want to haggle this as well. Let's try it. Oh, my God. Everyone's so much harder now. Oh, God, that was so close. Um, all right. You're offering the, um, sticker price. I mean, I have to accept it. I'm just trying to sell stuff right now. Uh, what are you doing, Uncle Billy? So, yeah, what I hope to buy today is the assembly station. That's going to be 700 Technically, I could afford it right now, but i got to worry about gas as well. Um, so, we'll save for that. It looks like somebody else is here. I wish they actually walked in, though. Oh, you want the uh, big the, the big shelf. You, you, you want the weird-looking wolf? 83 He's offering eight more dollars. Man, i got to haggle this. This one's too good. There we go. This guy's a little more lenient. All right, let's try one more time. Oh, no. Damn it! Oh, he still really wants it, so even at the yellow, he was good. Alright, I have to sell it, man. I kind of wanted to keep that thing, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Get out of my face, dude. But, uh, yeah, I'm all about selling today. Oh god, the alien's here. The freaking alien's here. Where, where the hell is he? Oh god, we have m multiple people here. Okay, you want the rocking chair? What the... Oh, it was a thief! Okay, I, th I thought that was the alien noise. He was trying to steal my stuff. Man, this guy's offering a lot, too. You guys are too easy today. This is great. All right, you gonna offer some more? All right, let's try one more time. Oh, I can't even haggle anymore. All right, we'll sell it for sure. That's just a tire anyways. Okay, so we have to watch out for thieves. Ooh, I didn't even notice you over here. Thank God you're not a thief. 1,200. Oh, come on, man. Let's go a little higher. Come on. Oh, that was so close. Should I sell it? I mean, he's offering ticket price. I think I'm gonna decline for the time being. Let, let, let's see if we can get a little bit better. Gotta say, even with the crappy walls and everything, I'm getting a lot of customers, but we can upgrade the shop. Um, equip upgrade gun. So I gotta buy the upgrade gun to upgrade? I mean, that kinda makes sense. That's 230. I'm gonna wait for that for a little bit. Let's try and sell everything. Oh man, you're already offered too much. Oh, god damn it. Damn it! I, ro I royally screwed that one up. I'm gonna decline. Oh, I love you, man. You offer so much every time. We're gonna sell that TV. There's an extra 80 bucks. We might have a grand by the end of today. Even if I don't sell that Jeep. Um, why are you guys offering so much? This is so easy for me. God. Why didn't I run a pawn shop sooner? This is great. You gonna offer any more? Of course you are, because you're such a nice guy. Alright, 35 bucks? Hell yeah, and <laughs> he's doing the running, man. Alright, he's clearly happy about it, too. Oh my god, that was awful. Oh! Okay, he clearly wants it then. Should I try it? Let's try it one more time. Oh, now he's cool. Dude, this is why you wait. There we go. 1620. That's way better. And now we got some serious money in the bank. 2616. So I should be able to get some upgrades. So, um, should I close shop here? We don't really have too much left. 42 bucks. Again, why are you offering over ticket price? It makes no sense. It's too easy. Yet I'm awful at haggling. You know what? I'll just sell it. It's it's a friggin' tire. All right, so let's close shop. There's a little bit more I have, but honestly, we sold all that stuff really, really quickly, even with the ugly shop. So I'm happy, and I want to do some upgrading now. So first of all, let's get the assembly station. Oh, never mind. Let's get the the upgrade tool, because I need it, the upgrade tool for everything. Okay, so we got our upgrade gun. Um, with upgrade gun, you can customize your pawn shop. Use it to customize shelves, walls, floor, build stations, yada, yada, yada. So how do I get that out? I guess, oh, there it is. Okay, so now we have the assembly station, and there's only one version of it for 700 bucks, so there we go. And I'm gonna be able to assemble that bike, and I probably can sell that bike for more than 700 bucks, so I think it was well worth it. What is this one? Oh yeah, that's the repair station. We'll probably buy all the stations today.
But, obviously, let's assemble that bike. I think I have all four parts. I should have got them all anyways. And indeed I did. So there we go. All parts are on. I wonder if that's just like hillbilly slang or if that's a typo. Um, do I just press the button? Yes, I do. Now, how much is this for? 600? Oh, well, that's a little bit of a bummer. I mean, I basically paid off my as assembly station, and I'm sure we're going to use that a hell of a lot more. Now, does this go in here? How the hell do I sell this? It's a big item. I mean, that's a big spot, isn't it? Big shelf for big-sized items. I guess it only works outside, maybe. I wonder if I have to store it first. That might be the case. So I repair it, and then I store it? And now can I sell it, please? I just want to sell the bike. Okay, and I can sell it inside, so it just fits there. Um, but yes, now we can sell the bike later on. I don't really need the money right now. Um, what, what else do I need to do with some of these parts? I think I need to repair some. I need to clean some, like the weird cat and the blow-up doll. Um, yeah, that's not horrifying. So yeah, let's buy the power washing station or the cleaning station. Okay, and there we go. Now we can clean stuff, so we're not selling gross things like... Who, who wants to buy a blow-up doll anyways? I don't know. I'm not gonna question it, but I love this cat. This cat is my favorite <laughs> in this game. I would buy this. All right, kitty, it's time to clean you, buddy. You really weren't that dirty, but you're still gross anyways, so we really gotta make sure you're nice and clean. Yeah, just just being a pawnbroker. There we go. Put it on there. <laughs> Ugh, it's so gross. I mean, a blow-up doll cannot be that expensive. If you're if you're going to a pawn shop to buy a blow-up doll, there is something seriously wrong with you. What what else do I need to clean, game? You know what? I don't want to know. Oh, it looks like it's hand. There we go. Now it's nice and clean. Oh, this is a big item. It's only it's only worth 16 bucks. Okay. All right. So we don't have any more big slots. So let's um drop this here, and we're gonna buy one of these. So upgrade tool. There we go. I didn't mean to buy the basic shelf, but uh, hey, I guess we'll have basic shelves for the time being. So you can upgrade the shelves to be nicer. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing like a weird-ass pawn shop where you have a bike and a blow-up doll. <laughs> oh, God, that's gross. All right, the only thing we need to do now is repair these items. So the repair station, that was over in my garage, right? So at least we got all the upgrade stations. That's 800 bucks. So we're going to cut... Uh, go quite tight here. Um, actually, what the hell? Oh, no, that's just the ordinary box. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna buy that, and I hope I don't need more than $305. Mind you, I can open up shop and just sell the items that I currently fixed anyway, so it's not a big deal. And, yeah, these are actually some pretty big-ticket items. We got, um, a gas, uh, pump, as well as, uh, an old TV here. Oh, come on, man. Okay, fix the boo-boos. Not enough resources. Oh, that's right. I need... How do I get resources? Oh, I'm gonna need the axe, I believe. So we're not gonna be able to sell those yet. I think that's another upgrade tool. And of course, I kind of went tight on the budget here. I probably should have bought some of these tools. Yeah, we need the axe. I definitely want the light because it's really dark. Um, looks like we can't buy the shovel yet. Interesting. I think that was the same case in the demo. So I guess that'll be updated later. And then we have a pick lock to get into certain things. So I guess that's good for now. You know what? I'm gonna open up shop again uh, just to have a little bit of money in the bank. Oh, not the kitty. Please don't buy the kitty. Oh, 45 bucks. I mean, the kitty is um, prime real estate right now. Oh, five more. Let's try one more time. If, if you go to 55, I might actually do it here. Oh, 11. There we go. Okay, I have to sell the kitty. I mean, that's too good of a deal. Goodbye, kitty. I hope I get another one. All right, extra 15. Hell yeah, 165, regular 150. Let's see if we can get better. Perfect again. That's what I'm talking about. That's how to run a shop, baby. <laughs> it doesn't seem like anybody wants my blow-up doll. I'm a, I'm kind of sad about that because <laughs> I just want to get rid of it at this point. It's kind of creeping me out. Do the name Bobby Gray? No. I think that's the alien. All right, hold on, buddy. Oh, that's the thief. I was like, who's stealing my stuff? Can you... What am I supposed to do? You just going to sit here and look at my blow-up doll? You just keep saying that. Nice shop. Thank you. You said something different now. You want to buy anything? So, we have agents coming now. Um, that's a little weird. Oh! Hey, it's my favorite guy back! You're gonna give me a good deal for good old Shelly here? Oh my god, he's already offering over, um, asking. You idiot. Alright, perfect. This guy is great! He's my favorite customer! Oh, come on, man. Let's try one more time. One more time. There we go, right? Okay, you know what? Get rid of her. There you go. <laughs> have a good time, man. That's gross. 
600 bucks. Oh, come on. There we go. Extra 60. 660. You know what? I'm not too picky. It's been a good day of selling. So there we go. Now we got some serious money in the bank, and I think I sold, well, pretty much everything. Okay, so now I can buy the upgrades that I want. Uh, we're definitely gonna buy the axe. Ooh, we gotta upgrade the axe as well. I do want to buy the light because it's not too expensive. And you know what? Let's just get the pick lock. We might need that for the next job. Okay, let's go check our email, and hopefully we have a new barn to do. Clint Pig Pusher is looking for Butch the Champion. Okay, um, we'll accept that job. Let's go to Barn Hub, and we have to go to Quiet Woods. Yep, that's the other. That's the new one. So I need to buy two gas for 100 bucks. So it cost me 150 bucks to get here. Hopefully it's worth it because it's quite a bit of ways away. All right, another barn with lots of weird ass crap in it. And I'm gonna hopefully find it all, because I got upgrades now. I got a light, I got my axe, in the quiet woods. The twin barns, those are two? Okay, this is exciting. I love picking in this game. This is kind of creepy, though, I gotta be honest. I'm really glad I got the flashlight, that's for sure. Oh, it hardly works, great. Watch out, youngin. There's no joke, I must say. All right, well, there's definitely stuff in the woods. We got some more upgrades for the shop. There's gonna be so much around here. We're gonna have to really look around, and of course it's dark, so you can't see a damn thing, even with this stupid flashlight. Okay, so there is two barns. Let's do this one first. Oh god, the agent's back. Hello. Mm -hmm. Paranormal waves here? Oh, don't be ghost. I don't want to be freaked out. <laughs> this is actually kind of creepy, because the game is quite realistic. Oh yeah, there's something. Is this, is this, is this the ghost area? All right, you know what? Let's just go inside. I'm actually nervous. Oh, perfect. There we go. Good start. Yep, I'm gonna die in here. I am definitely gonna die. Okay, well, at least we're getting stuff. There we go. What the hell is that thing? Deco box. I don't know what that is. Um, but we're gonna take our time here. We got a lot of items to find, and like I said, it cost me 150 bucks to get here, so we're gonna make it worth our while. Okay, so we got the axe now, so I think this is what we need the axe for. Oh, I can just destroy everything. That's right. I forgot about that. And then these are the items I need to repair things. Sometimes you get wood. Sometimes you get other things. Oh. Well, hello. You are an adorable bastard, aren't you? I'm definitely not going to destroy you. Let's uh, sell that creepy bastard. <laughs> hey, I think there's an attic in here. How do I get up there? Okay, good thing I noticed that. Um, there's got to be a way to get in there. There's obviously no stairs. So let's go out back. I think I got everything in here, more or less. I can't sell the um, creepy goat head, so that sucks. Whoa, okay, that makes sense. Um, interesting puzzle object. Well, I wanna use it to get up. Wait, how do I do this? Oh, oh, that's the motor I got. I was like, why am I, why do I need an elevator motor? That makes sense. Now I can hopefully, the hell, how the hell do I do this? Who the hell is that? There's someone dancing on the dock over there. Okay, I'm creeped out, seriously. Is this the alien? It is the freaking- Ah! God damn it! Don't do that! This game is so freaking weird, man. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. What the hell? We live by a freaking river. Oh, that's a nice chair, if I do say so myself, though. It's a good thing I came out here. Okay, so do I need, like, a, a shaft for this elevator or something? Um, interact. I don't- maybe I'm not- Oh, yeah, I definitely need some sort of wheel here, so we gotta go find that. Okay, got it. The hell is that? Oh, that's the golden poo. I'm coming for you, golden poo. Just gotta parkour a little bit. Oh, God, is there anything else over here? There's gotta be something over here. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Okay. Okay, but we got the golden poo. <laughs> or the golden paper. I'm gonna call it a golden poo, though. All right, I think that's everything over here. So we did the first one. We'll come back once we get the elevator. Um, we just gotta find what whatever that wheel thing is. Oh! Hey, the moon shines back. Okay, I didn't even see that before. I came back. I was just destroying everything for some ingredients. This always gets weird, so let's do it again. The alien bruise. Here we go. Delirium theater. So yeah, if you missed the first episode, go check it out, because I I did some of this then, too. And it's, it's always an interesting experience. What? Is that a chicken? Yep, that's a giant chicken. Okay, yeah, this game, totally normal pawn shop game, guys. Totally normal. Oh, another agent just having a campfire. What's up, dude? What are you doing here? I'm I'm making money. What are you doing here, you weird bastard? This place is under MBI surveillance. Yeah, I've already seen the alien, man. I've already seen him. You guys clearly aren't doing your job too well. Um, if you're just sitting here ha having a campfire. They, he's long gone now. 
All right, so let's get into the other barn here. Oh, there we go. It's metal. I haven't found any of that yet. Um, all right. Well, we actually need, need, needed the axe, so I'm glad I bought that. All right. Well, not much in this barn, but I did see we have a stove over here, it looks like. Just making sure I'm getting all this stuff. So, yep, stove. Perfect. Didn't find the um, thing yet, though, that we need to get up to the top of that other barn, so it's got to be somewhere around here. Uh, I'm just going to have to keep my eyes out. Oh, crap. Is it over here? Give me the good stuff. Well, there's an old PC over here. Lemon buck. Hell yeah, dude. Still need to find that damn thing, though. Oh, a key. Well, I don't know where that key goes. I haven't found the lock yet, but I found the key at least. Oh. Is that it? Nope. That's another item, though. That's an Atari. Hey, god damn it, we need the shovel. So, I th why couldn't I buy the shovel? Because we already have the digging spots. Um, Maybe that's where this item is, too. That's going to be frustrating if that's the case. Customer well, would you look at that? Return. A conveniently placed Miko shop right by my uh, truck. So, I guess we'll buy that now? <laughs> oh, well, that worked out, and that was right over here. God, I hope this is right. Let's see what's in the ground. Dig it up. Dig it up. Dig it up. Come on. Gonna find something good. Oh, it's a pitchfork. Well, I mean, we found something at least. <laughs> Guys. I, I, I'm a little embarrassed by this one. I've been looking around for like 30 minutes for the next, um, or wherever that circle thing is. I didn't even realize in the first barn there's a freaking door here. And obviously that's what I needed the key for. God damn it. All right, well, it should be in here, right? I hope it's in here, because I don't know where the hell the rest of these items are. I've looked throughout the whole map. Is that a freaking... That's a helmet! Made from 18-gauge iron, features an adjustable liner and chin strap. Comfortable and fully wearable. Can I wear it out here? Because I feel still a little scared. I can't believe I didn't notice that this place had a freaking garage on it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to be the best at this game, I'll tell you that much. Okay, and there it is. There it is! God damn it. All right, well, let's not be mad. At least I found it. So now we should hopefully be able to find the rest of these items because we still have quite a bit left. Uh, can I open that? Nope. What's behind this? Ah, another sign added to the collection. Okay, clean up this room. This just goes to the outside and it doesn't want to open up for me. At least let's make sure it goes to the outside. There might be another room on it. No, that's just that door right there. So, um, yeah. I guess now let's go put this thing on whatever this elevator thing... Is that a... That's a digging hole. Sick. Uh, did it not work? Did I did I do it too quick? I think I think I broke the damn thing. There we go. Come on. Let's let's go nice and slow. Sorry about that. There we go. Ah, oh, a toilet. And that's what I call a shitty situation. Okay. Finally. Where the hell is this place now? Okay, so we go down here. Put this thing on our giant elevator. And how are we gonna use this? Oh. So now I can just walk up it. Okay. And there it is! That's what we came here for. Let's make sure we get everything in here, like the, um, the beautiful microwave we got over here. Anything else? I mean, we can at least get this stuff for resources. But there he is! The, the squirrel himself! Oh my god, that's great. Alright, give me Butch. Send Butch to the, uh, shop here. And I think that should be... Oh, but there's one item somewhere. Of course, there's, there's always one item that I miss. Alright, well, I think I'll accept defeat on that one item. This place is too creepy. I kind of want to get out of here now. Plus, I can't see a damn thing. Um, so it's probably just in the woods somewhere or something like that. All right, so let's head back and uh, see what the damage is here. So, yeah, we missed, of course, one item. Got everything else, though. Got the golden paper and all the fun stuff. So, always frustrating to miss one, though. I honestly have no idea where it would be, though. All right, so let's see how much we get for that fighting squirrel. Um, job started. There we go. Pack and send. 400 bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, guys, and I think on that, we're going to wrap up this one here. Now, obviously, we have a lot to do at our pawn shop in the next one. We should be able to sell all that stuff relatively quickly after we repair it or wash it or whatever we have to do. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to see where we go from here. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a storage auction next one. They seem to go between barns and storage auctions, but, yeah, we'll see. But we have a lot to upgrade. Let me actually just see kind of what we have here. So I did collect a lot today, as you can see. Some of these were automatically unlocked and whatnot. But uh, I think it's time to make our store a little nicer now that we're getting some money in the bank. And we'll do that in the next one, guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Barn Finders. I'm really excited for this game. It's weird. It's fun. And, uh, yeah, it's all about making a profit. And you guys know I like doing that. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.